A quick summary of the accounting entries discussed so far. In the books of the creditor drawer on one side, books of the debtor and acceptor on the other. Let us continue with our old example where X sells goods to Y. So X draws a bill of exchange which is accepted by Y. It's a bill receivable in X's books and it is a bill payable in Y's books. So what is the what are the entries in the books of X? What are the entries in the books of Y? On sale of goods in the books of X, it would be Y's account debit to sales. This would be Y's account debit to sales. Bills receivable account debit to Y's account when he receives the bill of exchange. And when the bill is collected, it is presented and money is received, entry would be cash or bank account debit as the case may be to bills receivable. These would be the entries in the books of X. So Y's account debit to sales, bills receivable account debit to Y and when money is collected against the bill, cash account debit to bills receivable. What would be the same entry, effect of the same entries, same transaction in the books of Y? What would be the entries for the same transactions in the books of Y? Here it was sale, but in the books of Y, it's purchase, purchase account debit to X's account. Then X's account debit to bills payable because he accepts a bill of exchange. When the bill is honored, the entry becomes bills payable account debit to cash. So we have compared both the entries in the books of X and in the books of Y. In the books of the creditor, in the books of the debtor, in the books of the seller and in the books of the buyer, the books of the drawer and the books of the acceptor. When the bill is discounted with the bank, what would be the entries? Again, this is in the books of X and this is in the books of Y. On sale of goods, in the books of X, X would say Y's account debit to sale. On getting the bill of exchange, bill receivable account debit to Y. On discounting the bill, bank account debit, discount account debit to bills receivable. On maturity of the bill, there is no entry because it is the bank which will present the bill. The bank collects the money from Y. X does not have to pass any entry. For these transactions, what is the entry in the books of Y? Y has purchased the goods. Sale in the books of X, purchase in the books of Y, entry would be purchase account debit to X's account. For accepting the bill, it would be X's account debit to bills payable. When X discounted the bill, Y does not pass any entry. That transaction discounting of the bill is between X and the bank. On maturity, however, Y has to honor the bill irrespective of who presents it and when he honors the bill, Y passes the entry, bills payable account debit to bank. Money is paid against the bill. Next, what happens when the bill is endorsed by the creditor to another person, to the third person? So again, you have X sells goods to Y and you have Y having a bills receivable X in the books of X. In the books of Y, it's a bill payable. And we have X endorsing this bill to Z. Endorsing this bill to Z. If that be the case, on sale of goods, debtor's account debit. This is in the books of X. So it is Y's account debit to sales, bills receivable account debit to Y's account and then X endorses the bill, endorses the bill to Z. 
so it becomes z's account debit to bill receivable on maturity of the bill there is no entry because the transactions are between z and y z presents the bill to bill to y y honors the bill and x does not come into the picture so what is the corresponding entry for these transactions in the books of y when the goods were purchased by y its purchase account debit to x's account x's account debit to bills payable when he accepts the bill when x endorses the bill to z y is not affected he is nowhere in the picture he does not pass any entry however on maturity when the bill is presented by z he honors the bill therefore the bill is cancelled bills payable account debit to bank or cash as the case may be thus we see that irrespective of whether x presented the bill the bank presents the bill or z presents the bill when the bill is honored on maturity by y the entry in all cases is the same bills payable account debit to cash or bank what happens in case the bill is dishonored a quick summary of the transactions involved when the bill is dishonored again we shall do the same thing this is in the books of x and this is in the books of y so when x has sold the goods x passes the entry y's account debit to sales next on receiving the bill bills receivable account debit to debtor but the bill is dishonored if the bill is dishonored and noting charges are incurred then now y is responsible for both the bill amount as well as the noting charges so it becomes debtor's account debit with bill amount plus noting charges bill amount plus noting charges so the entry becomes y's account debit say 10200 assuming 200 is the noting charge and 10000 value of the bill to bills receivable is only 10000 to cash 200 being the cash that he has paid for registering the dishonor the cash he has paid as noting charges the cash that he has paid to the notary public what happens what are the entries for these same transactions in the books of y purchase of goods the entry is purchase account debit to creditor on accepting the bill its creditors account debit to bills payable on dishonor and noting charges incurred who is responsible for the dishonor y is responsible for the dishonor since y is responsible for the dishonor noting charges is an expense in the books of y so the entry becomes bills payable account with the amount of the bill say 10000 noting charges account debit 200 say 200 to x's account 10200 since x has to pay x has to be paid 10000 200 10000 the value of the bill and 200 noting charges that x has paid when the bill is discounted with the bank and subsequently dishonored there would be no change in the entries in the books of y <clears throat> but we shall quickly run through the whole thing on sale of goods debtor's account debit to sales x will say y account debit to sales he gets a bill bill receivable account debit to debtor or y on discounting of the bill bank account debit discount account debit to bills receivable but if the bill is dishonored and the noting charges are incurred it is the bank who would have paid the noting charges the bank will recover it from x the money will be taken out of x's bank account so x's bank account is credited with 
not only the bill amount plus noting charges plus noting charges debtor account or wise account debit 10200 to bank 10200 correspondingly the first two entries remain the same purchase account debit to x x's account debit to bills payable x discounts the bill no entry but when the bill is dishonored entry would be bill payable account debit with the amount of the bill noting charges account debit with the amount of noting charges to x's account 10200 if you notice the entries in the books of the acceptor are the same irrespective of whether the creditor keeps retains the bill till maturity discounts it with the bank or endorses it to another creditor so when the bill is dishonored uh, sorry when the bill is endorsed to a creditor and is subsequently dishonored the entry on sale in the books of x would be wise account debit to sale for receipt of the bill bills receivable account debit to y assuming that the bill has been endorsed to z it would be z's account debit to bills receivable now what happens in case of dishonor who presents the bill z has presented the bill for payment and z does not get the payment the bill is dishonored the bill is dishonored and let us say noting charges are incurred take the same amount of 10200 z ends up paying this 200 to the notary public but z will recover this money from x z will inform x about the dishonor inform him about the noting charges and will recover the money from x therefore now x has a liability to z for an amount of 10200 z's account is credited for 10200 and x will collect this money from y so y account debit to z's account an amount of 10200 value of the bill plus 200 noting charges however there is no change in the books of y purchase account debit to x x account debit to bills payable in case of endorsement that is entirely excess transaction no trans no entry in the books of y but on dishonor bills payable account debit the bill is cancelled noting charges is the expense in the books of y so noting charges account is debited for 200 to x's account 10200 y has to pay x 10000 plus noting charges of 200